All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to recover the pin. So we're just going to open up the image file. And then we're going to do a search for password.key. Normally, just type it in here, but we've already searched for it, so we're just going to select it from the drop down. Nothing else to select here. We're just going to search from the text string. Everything else is good, so we can just execute the search. You're probably going to find multiple instances of that search term throughout the image file, so you just want to continue searching until you find the actual contents of the file. So there's nothing here. Hit F3 and continue searching. Okay, here's a hit on the file name itself, so let's scroll up to see what the contents are. And this isn't it, so we're going to continue searching. Again, the file name. Still nothing, so we're going to search again. Okay, and it looks like this time we've found it. So remember, you've got a uh, SHA-1 and an MD5 in here. So the MD5 is the last 32 bytes. So we're just going to use a programming calculator here to help us with this. So 32 converts to hex 20. So we're just going to use the, the software to tell us where we're at, how much we've got selected. You can see hex 20 at the bottom of the screen there. So we're just going to copy this out, and we're going to paste it into a file. Um, we're going to be using Hashcat Lite to make this brute force attack work, so for some reason it requires lowercase alpha characters in here, so we're just going to convert all those to lowercase here real fast before saving this file. And then uh, we'll put a colon at the end. That colon is to separate the, the MD5 from the salt, so we'll put the colon there. And then we're just going to save this as hash. And then we need to go back to the image file, and we're going to continue searching through here uh, for any other instances of the pattern, or I'm sorry, the password in this case. So continue searching. We just want to find unique values. So another uh, instance of the name. We'll keep searching. And it looks like we found another one. So again, this probably means that somebody's changed their, their PIN uh, fairly recently. So we talk about that in the presentation, but you can see here we found another unique uh, set of values for the pin. So we're just going to extract the last 32 bytes, and we're going to go through and change these all lowercase again. again this is just a, a function of Hashcat. If you're using a different utility to convert this or eventually run brute force, you may not have to do this, but we're just converting these all lowercase. And then we're going to put a colon at the end again to separate the MD5 from the hash. We're going to save this one as hash2. And save that. And once again, we're just going to go back to the image file, continue searching, just make sure that we've got them all. And multiple instances of that file name with the unique contents means that that, that pin has been changed recently. So, But we've got them all for now, so we're all set.